Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about performing addition and subtraction of similar and dissimilar fractions. What do you mean by similar fractions? Yes, you are right. Similar fractions are fractions having the same denominators. What do you mean by dissimilar fractions? Alright, dissimilar fractions are fractions having different denominators. These are the steps in adding or subtracting similar fractions. Number one, add or subtract the numerators and copy the common denominator. Number two, Reduce your answer to lowest term whenever possible. To fully understand the steps, let's study some examples. Perform the indicated operation. 4 tenths plus 1 tenth. So first, we're going to add the numerators. So 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. Then copy the common denominator, which is 10. Is there any common factor between 5 over 10? Yes, there is. 5 and 10 are both divisible by 5. So, let's reduce the fraction to its lowest term. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. So, the lowest term of 5 tenths is 1 half. And this is our final answer. Another example, 2 8 plus 3 8. So we're going to add the numerators. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Then copy the common denominator, which is 8. Our answer is 5 8. Is there any common factor between 5 and 8? Alright, there's none except 1. Therefore, 5 8 is in the lowest term. Next example, 10 over 16 minus 2 over 16. So our denominators are similar, so we're going to subtract the numerators. So 10 minus 2 is equal to 8, then copy the common denominator, which is 16. So our answer is 8 over 16. Are there any common factor between 8 and 16 except 1? Yes, you are right. 8 and 16 are both divisible by 8. So, 8 divided by 8 is equal to 1. And 16 divided by 8 is equal to 2. Therefore, the final answer is equal to 1 half. These are the steps in adding or subtracting dissimilar fractions. When we say dissimilar fractions, these are fractions having different denominators. So number one, change the similar fractions to similar fractions by finding the least common denominator or LCD. Number two, add or subtract the numerators. Number three, copy the common denominator. And lastly, reduce your answer to lowest term whenever possible. For example, 2 fifth plus 1 half. Look at the denominators, 5 and 2. Are they the same? Yes, they are not. So we call this as dissimilar fractions. What shall we do first? We are going to change dissimilar fractions into a similar fractions by finding the LCD or the least common denominator. What is the LCD of 5 and 2? Alright, the LCD of 5 and 2 is equal to 10. So, we're going to make a new fractions having a denominator of 10. So, 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. Then, we're going to multiply the quotient to the numerator, which is 2. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Next, 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 times 1 is equal to 5. Then we're going to add the numerators. 4 plus 5 
is equal to 9, then copy the common denominator, which is 10. Therefore, our answer is equal to 9 over 10. I'm going to teach you other method on how to add or subtract the similar fractions. These are the steps in adding or subtracting the similar fractions. Number one, use cross product method. Number two, reduce your answer to lowest term whenever possible. For example, two fifth plus one half. So, how are we going to use the cross product method? All we have to do is we're going to multiply the numerator of the first fraction to the denominator of the second fraction. So, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Then, copy the indicated operation. Next, multiply the denominator of the first fraction to the numerator of the second fraction. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. Over, multiply the denominators. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. Then, perform the indicated operation. 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. Copy the denominator, 10. Therefore, 2 fifth plus 1 half is equal to 9 tenths. Another example, 4 seventh minus 1 eighth. So, we're going to multiply the numerator of the first fraction to the denominator of the second fraction. 4 times 8 is equal to 32. Then, copy the indicated operation. 7 times 1 is equal to 7. Then, multiply the denominator. 7 times 8 is equal to 56. Then, perform the indicated operation. So, 32 minus 7 is equal to 25. Then, copy the denominator, which is 56. Then let's evaluate our answer. Are there any common factor between 25 and 56 except 1? Yes, you're right. There's 9. So 25 over 56 is in the lowest form. Another example. 2 fifth minus 2 8. 2 times 8 is equal to 16. Minus 5 times 2 is equal to 10. Over 5 times 8 is equal to 40. Let's subtract the numerators. 16 minus 10 is equal to 6. Then copy the denominator which is 40. Are there any common factor between 6 and 40? Yes, you are right. 6 and 40 are both divisible by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. 40 divided by 2 is equal to 20. Therefore, the lowest term of 6 over 40 is 3 over 20. And this is our final answer. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. With this, just because something is difficult doesn't mean you shouldn't try. It just means you should try harder. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational videos.